people often say, okay, I don't want to be the person who has to tell my coordinator or my manager exactly what to do. I want them to know exactly what they need to do, right? And I will say that directive behavior is exactly that, telling someone exactly what they need to do without giving them, you know, much room for input, right? And I will say there is a space for directive type of leadership. And I'm going to use this example of creating a bullying workshop in the community. Let's say, for example, uh, this bullying workshop that you have to put together in the community needs to happen within 10 days, right? Yeah. Now, if it needs to happen within 10 days and you've just had someone in your team say, see you later, I'm quitting, okay? And they're out the door, okay? And you don't technically have anyone tapped to fill that role. Well, you're going to need to get in the directive seat and bring someone in and tell them exactly what to do, right? You're not going to delegate at that point in time because too much is at risk, right? So I just want to say that because I think that carving up time for yourself is really about becoming a better leader for your team. The better leader you are for your team, the more time you're able to carve up for yourself. And then what you choose to do with your time is really important. It's about unlearning the doer in you to become the leader, which is the person who sets priorities and follows through with those priorities. In this case, really following through with the idea of marketing activities and sales activities that will grow your business.